Hi, so for my video project today, I'm going to demonstrate Socrates' argument for the recollection theory that's in the Phaedo. Um, so basically, Socrates says that our souls are immortal and we know information before we're even born. And uh, once we live and experience things, we learn about things in the world through recollection. So therefore, we never learn new information that we did not already know, but rather we recollect information that we knew all along, and he thinks that we just forgot and we're recollecting it. So he demonstrates the recollection theory in the Phaedo with Simeus in a dialogue about equal sticks. He says two similar looking sticks are equal, but only deficiently so. So this means that to one person the sticks can appear equal from afar, but up close we know that it's impossible for anything in the natural world to actually be equal, so therefore the sticks are not equal in its pure form. So they participate in the form of equality, but they are not equal. So I'm, I'm going to demonstrate this, com this concept with two Starbucks coffee cups that I have right here. So from afar, the cups do look equal. They're the same size, the same shape, same color, they have the same logo on it, but they are only deficiently equal because a closer look shows that they are actually different. So for instance, this cup has writing all over it and this one is blank. And this cup has liquid in it, so it's like a little bit heavier, and makes a different noise when you go like that than this cup, which is empty, it makes no noise. So they are not purely equal, but they are deficiently equal because like I said, Pure equality does not exist in the natural world, but the form of equality does, which lets us know why these cups look appear equal from afar. So if nothing in the natural world can be equal, why can we conceptualize equality, and how do we identify things to be equal? This is where Socrates' theory of recollection comes in. So in making a judgment of equality, you obviously must know something about equality to make that judgment. Socrates says this knowledge is pre-existent and you simply recollected it when you were looking at the cups. He says that the knowledge of equality is innate and in virtue of having it, you can make judgments about equality. So according to Socrates, I can refer to these cups as equal or deficiently equal, but not purely equal because I'm recollecting what I already knew about equality before I was born. So that's Socrates' argument about recollection, and there you go. Thanks. Bye.